Hey everyone, this is Toxic Tuna back with another Life is Strange Theory video. For this one, I gotta give credit to Billy227. I would have completely missed this otherwise. Okay, so in episode one of Life is Strange, when you're in Chloe's bedroom rummaging through her stuff, you drop and break her snow globe. So basically we have the option to either go back in time and keep the snow globe from breaking, or leave it as it is. Now most people, including myself, went back in time and fixed it. But leaving it broken leads to an interesting clue in episode 3. So towards the end of episode 3, when we are in the William picture scene, let's call it, we see a snow globe with a deer inside of it. Upon examining it, we get this dialogue. Right, of course. The snow globe belonged to William. So the deer snow globe is William's. So how crazy would it be to jump to the conclusion that William's spirit animal is the deer? Now, many consider Max's spirit animal to be the deer, but who's to say that two people can't have the same type of spirit animal? After all, there are two different types of deer in Life is Strange. One that we see often, which is the ghost deer, and another one which is actually living. So wouldn't it make a lot of sense that the transparent deer is William's? After all, William is 100% dead. Well, at least in the dimension we play in most of the game. So, let's go a step further here. Looking through David Madsen's garage, we find a deer head as a trophy. David Madsen is a deer hunter, so David Madsen kills deer, and William is dead. So could it be possible that David Madsen killed William? Well, let's go back to that garage scene again. Previously, David was working on an older year vehicle, and in episode three, that vehicle was fixed. So David Madsen is pretty knowledgeable at fixing cars. So couldn't that mean he's pretty knowledgeable at sabotaging one too? What if David Madsen rigged William's car to kill him in order to take his wife, Joyce? Now going even further from that, at the end of episode three, when we were back in present time, we go to Chloe's house and see William and Chloe. Now, remember, we don't see Joyce. So Chloe is in a wheelchair and disabled. Is it possible that after the first shot of trying to kill William failed, David Madsen repaired the vehicle only to make an attempt at his life later down the road? But this time, something much worse happened. Instead of William getting into the car, Joyce and Chloe decided to go for a spin. This resulted in Chloe being disabled and put into a wheelchair, and Joyce injured or even possibly dead. Remember, we don't see Joyce at the end of episode 3. So what do you guys think? Is it possible that David killed William in order to take his wife, Joyce? Let me know, please leave a comment. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, please subscribe, and I'll be sure to see you in the next one. Thanks again, guys.